I'm going to tell Strange you something. Strange stuff. I really take you for granted sometimes, you know? Why? <laughs> Me? You are really a man that can fix the crack of dawn. <laughs> Today, the first yeah, thing, sometimes. we're trying to head to the creek. We had a problem with the gas tank. Sometimes. Who fixes it? Mikey did. But I just tell you, Mikey, I really take you for granted sometimes. And I, I, I want to tell you just how much you mean to me today. Well, I appreciate that. I learned. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> and I learned that through <laughs> yesterday, Mikey. Well, yeah. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm good with duct that. Duct tape's <laughs> awesome. Well, my, Mikey and I, we learned a very valuable lesson yesterday. We had a close, mm. close call to our lives yesterday. And before we even head to the creek today, Mikey and I want to take this opportunity and just thank our Lord Jesus Christ for saving better. our life it yesterday, was, Mikey. Yeah, it was. It was for real. That was so, so scary. Mm. Let me tell y'all what happened. Yes, I was, was standing at the end of the bridge where we normally catch our mullet bait. I had this brilliant idea that we would go get mullet yesterday because I didn't want to have to work so hard when we get to the creek to go get our bait on our next fishing trip. So, to make a long story short, we went down to the bridge, and I was standing at the end of this little bridge. I was trapped up on this bridge, and I was, it was a, it's a closed-in small bridge, and I was cast netting, and I was catching a lot of bait, uh, and suddenly I had this flash, and this is real serious. I had a flash. It was like a warning. Discernment that heavy discernment that I get and that is I'm being serious about this to get off of the bridge Mikey was standing to the left of me I was on the right I was the farthest away from where the other end of the bridge was to go to our vehicle I turned around I looked at Mike I pulled my net up and I said I'm uncomfortable We've got to get out of here. I'm ready to go. Well, I had no more got those words out of my mouth. When I turned around and I looked, I heard a screeching and I looked and there was a big, big pickup truck, a brown pickup truck flying. I know he was doing 80 around the curve where we were standing at. And I saw his truck coming directly at me going sideways. He was losing control on the side of the road. And the thing is, folks, I had tied this cast net around my left leg and it had the rope tied to it so that I wouldn't lose my cast, my brand new cast net, Mikey, <laughs> off of the bridge again. And uh, that was, that was really scary. I, I, I had, all I could scream to Mikey was, I saw Mikey at the other end, I said, run. And I grabbed what part of the net I could up and took off running just as fast as I could. Well, as I was running, I could feel the truck. I just knew he was going to flip on top of me. I, I just, it was just a real real heavy feeling it was like my whole life just flashed in front of my eyes i didn't know whether to jump off the bridge or to go left or to just what to do i was still on the inside of the bridge mikey had made it to the front of me to the end of the bridge where he could jump off into the grass and in, into, into the, the marsh and the water <laughs> but i was trapped in between the the concrete part of the bridge I was running as fast as I could but I could feel the truck coming up on on me and I don't it had it was by the grace of God and the angels looking out for us above this man got control of his truck thank God and somehow his truck straightened up and he missed me by about a foot. I mean, 
he missed me about a foot and then he almost hit Mikey too. Scary. <laughs> but the, the weird thing about it was he had to be drunk or something was severely wrong because as soon as he got the truck straightened up, he floored the truck again and took off flying. And I reckon he hit it to about a hundred then, didn't he, Mikey? He was getting down. He flew. Ugh, and we looked know. down the road. I just knew he was going to flip it again and hit the canal. But the Lord was looking out for him too, obviously, because I did not see him wreck it where we were at. But um, it was one of the most scariest things anybody could ever happen have happened to him. I've never and, seen a vehicle um, that out of control get control. Me either. And Mikey and I were mm, completely was, shocked. Was shocked. It was. It happened so quick. It was like uh, having your whole life flash before your eyes. So I'll tell you folks out there right now, if you ever get these Discern. feelings and discernments, so. Uh, to that things don't feel right and you just feel uneasy i i tell you to heed to that warning because um i had the cast in the water when i had that feeling and i pulled it up as quick as i could and i had it in my hand if i hadn't had it in my hand i would not have been able to run and he probably would have hit me um i like I said, and folks in the area, there were some people in the area they might have got hit that, too. that almost got hit too, that were farther down. He went into two yards, tore the yards up, um, and they saw him just about hit us, and they were freaking out. But we thank those people for coming to our aid and uh, stopping to make sure we were okay, and um there's a lot of good people out there mikey a lot of good good people in this world and then this world's also going crazy i'll tell you so we thank you for your covering of prayers on mikey and i while we're out here doing our craziness and our fishing adventures because it's what we love to do and it's what we love sharing with you but uh today we are very grateful for what god has done to save our lives we are. He saved it yesterday. He sure did. <laughs> it was a very close call. Yeah. So we're out and venturing on to another fishing adventure today. And what you're trying to say is keep your eye on the other guy when you're right, driving. Right, baby. <laughs> you got it. Because, uh, that has really, that has really shook me up a little bit. I'm still, I didn't sleep well last night. I'm still having a little, uh, that is shaking us about it and we're going back into that area today so um i don't know i'm gonna be my eyes are wide open mikey <laughs> and i won't be doing any cast netting not not t today thank god we have all the bait we need and so we're going to try to get out of here. We're going to get some of those big trout they're catching. I'm telling you. We hear the trout action is starting up. Monsters. So stay tuned. We don't know what we're going to catch. We really don't know how the day is going to go. But. Monsters. <laughs> we'll see. Because you're with somewhere up a creek. What a month. Mikey, for real. For real. <laughs> Gotta live. <laughs> Your life was just spared. <laughs> and you folks are not going to believe his you. life was just spared where he has asked me to bring him right to start with yes ma'am Mikey would like two hamburgers all the way and one with just ketchup anything else Yep, that ought to do it. Oh. What else do you want? No. Uh, 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 you want a mocha frappy, no, no doubt. They have an apple oh, wait a minute. He also wants one of your healthy apple turnovers. Okay, turn off. Anything else? I think that ought to do him. Alrighty, turn off that first one now. That should get the job done right there. Well, Mikey, that hamburger, mm, mm, mm. that should just really get your arteries going. I'll tell you, 
We have got to change our ways, Mikey. Uh, no, thank you. Apple pie. That old apple pie of McDonald's. I know you want it. I do not. Yeah, you do. I'll tell you what, though. We met some really, really nice folks on YouTube called Adventures in the Heartland, Mikey. Jan, it was Jan and John down there at Adventures in the Heartland. Right. I they was, eat was, some was, good was, food now. They're from up there in Michigan. And I'll tell you, those folks, you can find them right there on YouTube. They have an awesome channel. They do a lot of cooking, hiking. They even do fishing. You name it. All kinds of adventures. Last night, they were cooking some wonderful mushrooms that they collected out there in the woods. And uh, they eat healthy stuff, Mikey. Me and you over here eating all this trash to clog up our arteries. You know that's not good for us. We're down here to McDonald's now. We need to go up yonder and get some of that good old food that John cooks up there in Michigan and, and meet those folks and travel a little bit ourselves. Go up there and go fishing for some walleye. But uh, we just want to give a great big shout out to those folks. Oh, you have... No idea. We've met so many wonderful folks in this fishing adventure world. So we give a shout out to them. Go check out their channel. You will not be disappointed. They're the kindest, most down-to-earth people we've ever met. And um, we are really looking for a parking place to try to get our gas tank fixed on our boat. Mikey, it looks like you're going to have to walk. I know you don't like walking. Mm. And I know that McDonald's burger is mighty good to you. Mm. Mm. But Mikey, a little bit of walking is not going to hurt you. Mm. It might put some extension on that life of yours. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Make you live a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. We got to work on this diet you got going on, Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We don't get our stuff right. We won't be doing much fishing. And you know it's important to fish. So, we are headed out. We're praying today that we have some luck. I'm praying that that carburetor continues to work back there that Michael did some work on this morning. Wow, he used duct tape of all things. Duct tape. Well, that's what we're riding on today, folks. But you know us, somewhere up a creek. You never know what we're going to do. But my mother always said duct tape would fix anything. We're going to see. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay tuned. Yeah, Mikey. You're the man of the day, my dear. I got a wired all up. That's done. Stitch done. It's running now. I always did say Mikey can fix the crack of dawn when it comes to boats and boat motors. That's one thing and one feather we have in our hat here. So, even though I can catch the bigger fish, Mikey can handle that in pretty well. I feel safe. Oh, beautiful day, Mikey. Beautiful day. We're hoping to catch a trout today. We should have got here a lot earlier, but we ran into the motor problem. So, uh, today is a little late for us. Of course, we always come to the creek late, Mikey. Uh, this is not control. I got to train him to get up earlier. He needs to start getting up as early as Sissy does. Yep. I've got a lot of training to still do on you, Mikey. Gilligan though. Yeah. I think he does. A good Gilligan. But Mikey's a good, good Gilligan. Yeah, if I get stuck. If he gets stuck today, we might be on Gilligan's Isle. 
I sure hope you don't get stuck up next to this marsh and a gator coming and that motor don't work. I'll be in a scrape. That'd be bad. That would not be good, Mikey. Not good. Mikey, you're not letting that McDonald's bag get too far away from you, are you? No. I'm <laughs> cooking that hamburger right now. I see. We really got to talk about your health issues, Mikey. We got to get on a better health regimen. I'll tell you what, after seeing those folks eat them healthy mushrooms last night, that made me go to thinking. We need to get on our vitamins. We need to get on some good, healthy food. What you think about that? I had to go up there where they cook them fancy pizzas at. That's I pizza love world. me some pizza now. That's pizza I world love there. me some pizza. <laughs> this is what Michael, I'm what are you doing? Mikey, that right there is not healthy eating. Now, yeah. once you get a whole Milky one Ways, thing. chocolate chips. Moon pies. Everybody step right on up now. <laughs> That's real healthy right there. Give me one of them, Mikey. Don't be so stingy. <laughs> I just want one. Wow. One, I don't do it. Yeah, I love me some chocolate now. I'm having a weakness with chocolate. Wow. I can't I cannot go without the chocolate for too long. But we really got to get our act together. We really do. We got to get healthy. We really got to do this something. This is how you do it. <laughs> Lord. That's called milk. Only if it'll help me catch more fish. Mikey, something's took my cork under. Ha, ha, ha. But that's crazy. That's just crazy. Look, he took my mullet, Mikey. Well, we see a lot of mullets hopping. Michael says, mullets are hopping, trout will be rocking. I don't know about that. I haven't seen him bring anything to the hill yet. You folks got to understand, I just got to see proof. Solid proof. What do you want from me now? What? Huh? Nothing. What'd you say? No, I don't hear nothing. What? No. Nothing. Always asking me for something. Help me. Alright. Help you. Alright. He needs some help. You gotta do the hard kind of fishing. He needs some help. Y'all gotta help me out, out young. You gotta do the hard kind. There ain't never been nothing hard. What are you talking about? Hard, hard fishing. Michael, you don't, you don't do anything hard but lay the head down. I'm gonna tell it like it is now. And you got me in the worst fishing spot in this creek. I've been asking him for 20 minutes to put, please take me somewhere else. And he's still he sitting back there it. eating on a sandwich and Hershey bars and Milky Ways and Anything else he can find? Chocolate chip cookies. I ain't seen a fish yet. And I'm so... I'm starting to have the heebie-jeebies. Y'all. That's what it Something just took my bait. And I think it was a shark. That's what it said in the newspaper. Now this delirious fella back here on the boat says... He thinks he saw a great white up here. Let me tell you no, something. It had to be a little great white because this... The bottom, you, you can hit the bottom. You can walk from here to Kalamazoo. The tide's so low. No. Yeah, ain't no great white been nowhere. No great white. Something just eats my mullet. Well, let me tell you folks something. That's a big piece of bait right there. That That's what I was catching yesterday. Before that truck almost wiped me out, Mikey. I found out how fast I can run, though. I'll tell you, Pat Charlie can get up and get 
get going. Especially even with a cast net wrapped up around my leg. I can take off. But anyway, you'll do what you got to do when you got to do it. But that was a nice size mullet I was catching yesterday when I had to take off. Lord. What color was the truck? I cannot fish with that. You'd have to go to the ocean to fish with that. Ooh, he looks like he's got some kind of disease. Ah. That that right there, folks. That's what you call a men hating. See that right there? That right there. Men hating. They they don't last long on your hook though. They don't last long at all. Nasty. There's there's na they're nasty. Just just nasty. That's what our little small town here in Beaufort, North Carolina is known for. Menhaden. They used to catch the menhaden in the nets. And uh, well, they had the big men we had factory. a menhaden factory here. Made all kinds of dog food and cat food. A lot of people food. made a living off the menhaden factory. Yeah, here. they did. Made a lot of money in Beaufort, North Carolina. Off of I got chocolate chip cr crumbs on my shirt, Mikey. How did that happen? because Mikey put the chocolate chips up here, right there. That's all we've had today is junk. You know why? Because the fish are not biting and I can't get Mikey. Mikey, do you realize that we're drifting? Yeah. Uh, my anchor's come loose. You've lost that anchor. Mike, we gotta get out of here. Do you know where we're drifting to? We're drifting out, Mikey, the, the tide's going out and we're fixing to drift into the rocks. We gotta get out, we gotta get our mess, get that motor cranked up. We got to go. You can't be drifting up this way. We're gonna be stuck. Mikey, I ain't lying. We're gonna be on a show. You better listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. Show. We're fixing to get on a show. You're gonna be in a mess then, cause I'm gonna sit here all day. Be sitting here all day, Mikey. How is the boat doing? What, what the doing? heck is that? Michael, look at that critter over yonder. You better get us up out of here. I tell you, there is a shoal. We're fixing to hit it. I already see it from where I'm sitting. I can see it through my fishing glasses. Mike, I can see everything. Get the motor cranked gotcha. up. Sure. I'm... <sighs> that means I gotta get up and work. Swirling in the creek today, Mikey. Let me show you something. Shoot. <laughs> you're getting ready to show me something. Yes. You, you're going to show me something. Well, um, I'd like to see what in the world that's going to be. I just had a fish. A trout. I had a trout. That's why he got off. I had one, Mikey. What did he bite? <laughs> now you want to know what my bait trick is. Do you reckon? Yeah. I have to keep some secrets, Mikey. That's right there. Is what she bit. I'm fixing to bring one to the hill. You can sit there all you want to. I'm fixing to bring one to Yeah, don't kids. you worry. We lost our cast net and we had a cast net funeral. Oh, uh, <laughs> got a snag on something? Yeah, just yeah. got lucky because he was about to work me to death with that thing. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> that is the bait, sir, friends. Yeah. That I almost died for. Ah, yeah. oh, Claire, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't worked for me all day long.
Mike may have to be the first one to catch that fish. You know I got to do it. It's just got to be done. Mike, you don't let no gator come out of that brush there. Mm, I don't like that. Y'all see that brush? Oh, we're all close to the back. Ah, uh, you got me too close to the brush, Mike. Okay. Now give me off that brush Can't now. Can't what? You're going to be electric right here in a minute. You better get me off this You better get me off this brush now, Mikey. I don't like that. Mikey. You just have to push <laughs> off the paddle. Hey. Yo. I don't know what to do with him. Now, Mikey, this is what you call fishing. Mikey wants to tell you all a gator story. Way back here. He said, that looks like a gator house right over there. It does. Probably is. See how he travels in there? He... Right. That's probably where he goes to sleep at at night. Oh, you ain't gonna believe got... this, Mike. Flounder? Yes. Hot dog, man. A lot of flounder there up he is. here. Hot dog, That's I a got flounder. it. Hot dog, look y'all. I have. Hand yeah, me your net. It's right there. Oh, oh man, man, he got off. Yeah, that was a flounder. Man, he got off. There's big flounder down wow, here. Wow, this was a big one too. Mm -hmm. Y'all, that was <laughs> fun. Y'all got... <laughs> Mike has been laying down oh, and man. a fish took off with his rod and reel. Now, don't tell me you lost that fish. You ain't gonna let me lay down. <laughs> Mike, I thought you lost your rod and reel and the whole nine yard. My Lord. Darn feet, he took your whole rod. He took your whole... Fish, Mikey. I was getting ready to fish. Mikey, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, how can you fish when you're laying down? Oh, yeah, I can't. You got to get up off the under. Well, see that bad spot in my line up there? I looked up Ooh. Mike's rod, reel, everything ah. was taken off down the creek. Good thing you had that float on it. He was trying to catch the fish with his foot. Now, if I sit I'm there, tell y if I if I hadn't decided to lay down, I'm gonna tell you folks something. Look what he did. Look, what in the world? That was a good sized fish there. <laughs> that right there. He he won't get up off of his back long enough to fish. I got to fix that. I think he tore up your whole rig. Now, Mikey, how can you fish on your back? Hey, I'm gonna tell you. It something. will not let me lay down. Lord help me, Lord. I had to stretch. Do you think that's drum? I don't know. I don't know, Mike. I'm gonna think taking off. I'm... I tell you what. I gotta fix this. He just tore my bait and everything down. right off. Right off me line. I think he did. <laughs> Good Lord. I want y'all to listen to that. There's a critter over yonder. Where? Right there. On my back. Y'all hear that critter over yonder? Critter, critter world. That's where we are. Look, Look at that snake. There ain't no snake, Mikey. Look, look at the critters up yonder in that tree. Now that's pure nature right there. Where? In the tree, Mikey. I'll over yonder bird. in the tree. See them? They're birds. Look at them now. You know what you need to do? Hush, Mikey. You got to listen to Mother Nature Come down now. here and put out a bird feeder. Put out some bird feeders. I am watch. sure these bird. Listen. Shh. Listen, Mikey. Listen. This. I can't see look behind you. Where? Look at what behind me. I'm telling you what. Listen. Listen. Shh. Listen. My. Listen. You're in there playing. Mikey, there is something Listen. big right there coming out that blasted, dag blasted ah. grass. Ah. Here he comes. Y'all, I ain't joking. I'm a little nervous about this. Now, you got to get me off this hill here. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, there's critters back here now. We're back Sometimes here to the end of the world. Sometimes a deer come out and look at you now. I just got my life back, and you are you got me up in here, and there's all kind uh -oh. of critters around me. Gators, snakes. Now, a deer come out. Deer, bear. A lot of bear back here, Mikey. Locked up. Oh, God, I threw oh. it in the tree. <laughs> ah. 
Did you see that? Gosh. I believe I hit the tree with that. You were casting overseas. Did you see that? Well, this creek is so narrow, Mikey. There ain't no telling. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, Mikey. Look at this. Look, 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 Angel. Look. What, what? Look, taking my line. Now, what did, it, did you see that? No. I haven't seen anything. I should I have pulled that. Angel. Hand me them moths. I got to catch this fish. He's. I'm telling you. Mikey, you drain me. No, did you see that? I'm looking over here in these bushes trying to make sure there ain't no critter coming on my back. Golly, now I can't get a mullet. Let me tell you folks something. Mm, that mullet's just too big. He's got me back here. I'm talking about in the middle of nowhere. Right here, in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to show you something to me now. Problems. There's something over yonder in that grass right there, and it's big. Watch out. He was about to break the hill. He was about to come through there just a few minutes ago. Mikey don't care. Just a deer. He don't care. He don't care. I'm telling y'all. A deer won't hurt you. You got a gun on us? Not that big. Well, if something was to break through that grass right there. Well, he's got to swim. He could eat us, folks. He could eat us. Now. Before we could get off the hill. And Mikey says, don't worry. Don't you worry. Y'all see him? He's moving again. Right over yonder. Hi. There's some big stuff down there. You dog blasted there's some big stuff back here. What more have you got me banked up here for? Yes, yes. You, you don't care. I tell you what. This is... This is... Uh, Coming this is... Uh, this is big time I stuff here, fish. Folks. My lord, this might... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, folks. He I really got... has a fish. They're down there. What you got, Mikey? I don't know, but they're taking it. I mean, he'll... he'll well, why don't you just bring it on to the boat, Michael, so I can see what you got. I just hooked him. Well, hurry up now. Get your fish to the hill. Wait a minute, I got a line out there. He might get in my line. <laughs> uh oh. Look, look, That's folks. Wow, man. <gasps> Mikey's got a drum. No, that's a drum, Mikey. You don't know your fish. There's a lot of difference between the drum the and the trap. Mikey, don't tell me that's my friend has come all the way down that's here. Him. Look at him. They're all. Is up that my here. friend? Yeah. Has he come all the way down here? Nah, he's a little bigger than your friend. Oh, okay. He's a little bigger than your friend. Y'all see that right yonder? Naughty Claire. Oh! Well, let me make friends with him. I want him to be my friend. Oh, I'm going to make oh, friends. Oh, oh, we fish. have a new friend today. Hi! Hi there! My name is Angela. Oh, your name is Fishy? drum uh, and he says come on down somewhere up a creek right yeah tell the folks out there <laughs> we're gonna put you back in the water baby but you are so cute and we love making new friends uh-huh at somewhere up a creek yes we do god bless it now you come back and see me baby all right i'll put you back in the water now <coughs> you want to say anything to him mikey swim good <laughs> swim long swim good swim fast <laughs> Mikey says swim good. Uh, Y'all see anything wrong with Mikey? Swim fast. I do. I see a lot wrong with it. Bye bye, baby. You go on back to the hill. Um, go back down to the creek now. You know what? Um, I'm going to tell you folks something. You can't call The only thing Mikey had to say to that fish was uh, swim good. Do, do Y'all see a problem with that? Really? Swim fast. Swim good. Look, there he goes on yours. He picked it up, huh. bringing it to you. I got one too. Yeah. Oh gosh, I hope. I bet you he's come back. Yeah, he's bringing it to you. You reckon he's come back? Yeah, he's trying to. God bless. He's trying. I'm telling you, you told him to swim good. <laughs> I never heard anybody say anything like that to a fish. Swim good. Yeah, swim good. That's the best thing you could think of. Swim good. I said swim fast. I mean, really, my swim. Think about that now. Let that go to the head. <laughs> Swim good. <gasps> Another one, Mikey? Not two in one day. That's just not a... 
That can't, wait a minute, that's my line, Mike. That is not a, you got my line or a fish? Whew, about to get my nerves all shook up again. <laughs> Telling you. Got critters on my back back here. Mikey's all up in my line again. And I can't mine. fish because Mikey's in my line. He took mine away. And the best thing he could say is swim good to a beautiful fish like that. Swim good. They didn't care. I'm surprised that yesterday he didn't tell me to run good when we were in a life and death situation. But he took a took a fish today and called him and told him on his way out of here to swim good. So it's either swim good or uh, run good with Mikey. Run fast, run. Good. run. Yeah. He was like far. With Mikey, you ain't no telling. His 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 vocabulary is either run good or swim good. He was like Forrest Gump. Like Forrest Gump? Yeah. What are you talking about? The fish. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know Forrest. No, Forrest said life is like a box of chocolates. Right. <laughs> right. He come up with something creative. You said to the fish, swim good. And well, that's kind of just, that's not very creative. I thought that was an adjective. Just swim good. That's swim good. <laughs> like, swim good and stuff. That's an adjective. What are you going to say to that gator when he runs into us back here in the middle of nowhere? Mm. Eat good? Hat. That's what you're going to tell him. Eat good. Yeah. That's what they told Brian. Do you all know that gulp has gone up to $7 a package now? I mean, really? Talk about inflation. Gulp. Regular old rubber fishing bait with a scent on it. $7 a package. And you only probably get about four pieces. I'm talking about the gas is way up. The, the fish bait is way up. And I've been putting it out there all day long and you know what nothing in the world wanted it not you see no. that right there that's gold that that's what i'm talking about that's so expensive <clears throat> folks that right there four or five six pieces of that seven dollars package yes, and not one market. fish has wanted it today not one day long. that little package right there that little package of gold Okay, that's twenty dollars, folks. Twenty bucks. Talk about inflation. World's gone to pot. Really has. World's in a scrape. Thirty back here. World's Mike. in a bad scrape. Thirty up here in the creek. I'll tell you. A lot of critters. It's quiet. Thirty. That's what it is. Thirty. You quite pretty back there too, Mike. I tell you what, I left my you hat. on it today. <laughs> you look like Gilligan or Gilligan's Isle. <laughs> Hot dog. We gonna get you a job with Gilligan. We need an electric motor. I think we better get something to get me off this bank right here. Y'all see where Mikey has me again? See what I have to do? Oh, <laughs> poor Mikey got to work now. We got to work. See. Paddle now, Mike. Paddle. Because you don't want me to get up there on that gate. Michael, that is a gator hole. Now, there is a gator hole. Y'all see it? Yeah, you can see there. Up trails. yonder. There is gator holes up in this creek. Let me tell you, we ain't messing around here. They live up in these places. See? <laughs> see there? Y'all see that? That's called a yeah, that's gator's one. den right yonder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You need to get me out of here, Mikey. Got to get me out of here. Tell you what, there's gators down here. That They make a, a, a pancake out of me. And uh, I got to get out of here. Mm. We'd be like a hostess cake to them gators, Mikey. That looks like one laying you. up there. Huh? Talk blasted it does. I tell you what. <laughs> One comes off this hill up here. I'm telling you, Angela's going to exit this boat. Pat and Charlie going to have to go run good.
is a grab. Grab. They're cheaper. Mikey? Yeah. Okay. I'd say she's dead low tide now. She's dead low this time. We might have to walk to the hill. Huh. We might be in a scrape. Walk good.